Hi Juan, I'm seeing your questions, but these are exact, these are test questions, so I can't do this exactly, but I am gonna show you real quick. Do you see right here, this is your packet, and then towards the back, what you're gonna see is they are, there's a practice test that has all these worked out. For, so the first one is that window problem, and remember we have to find, so right here, this one says three, but that's the full diameter, so remember we have to cut that in half, and that's gonna be our radius. And so we have to do one half of two times pi times whatever that radius would be. And that's gonna give us our number. And then if you remember it said the perimeter, so we're gonna do that three is each side, three and three and three, right? And so just like this one, what we did was we did perimeter is five plus five plus five plus that um, right here, okay? The next one is the dice question. And it's um, right here, number 11 on the practice test. It says a dice with five sides has one, two, three, four, five as the sample space. So this one says on your test, which one, what if it has one through six, what would be the answer? Okay. Then the next one, it looks like it is a chart. So let me find that. So again, this is right before. So here's the, pre the test that you're talking about. Right before it is that everything's worked out, okay? So right here it says, um, let's find it. Let me zoom in here, full screen. So the question right here says, out of six graders, who prefers strawberries? So right here this one says, um, you know, out of females, out of graduated, how many perfect, so whatever it says, that that's where you're, you're kind of going with it first, and then because it says female, that's what we would do. So like right here, this says sixth graders. So first you'd figure out how many sixth graders you're talking about. So not the total, it looks like you try to do the total and that's not gonna work, okay? Then the next one is the toilet paper question. So on your practice test, it's right here, number 25. You can see that they had a diameter and we cut in half and we did a radius for each one of those. And then you can see I did this equation right here, the pi r squared height minus pi r squared height, we plug it in and solve. So that's like number 25 from the practice test. And now I'm gonna go on to this one. It looks like the hourglass. And so that's right underneath there, number 26. So right here it says the cylinder's pi r squared height. So remember that's this full thing, right? We have the radius is three and the full height's 20. And then right here it says the cone, well that's just this guy with a height of 10. So that's why I used radius of three and 10. And then we put it in and solve. Okay, the next one says the circle with it on the outside. And unfortunately some of this got um, deleted, right? But you can see this one, number 12, it has it all right there. Okay, so you would um, put them together equal to 360 and then combine like terms and solve for X and then plug it in. Okay, the next one is this question, the six and the four with it's like, and I believe that's one that got cut off. It is right here. So you can see it's got cut off. But basically you wanna do um, the larger over the small number and then hit math, enter, enter. And then the last one says that we have a sandwich shop with five meats, three cheeses, whatever. And so it's gonna look like number six of our question where it says that we have three crusts, five meats, seven um, toppings. And so it looks like we multiplied three times five times seven is 105. So Juan, I'm gonna encourage you, um, right here, right in front of your real test is the practice test and it goes through and it shows you how to do each problem. And then you need to take the real test, here's the real test right here at the back. And then at the very back, you need to put in A, B, C, D, whatever, and then you need to turn it in. Okay, make sure your name's on it, my name's on it, etc. Good luck, buddy.